Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is Git dot product two? Let's go and look at the node itself, and we're going to cover what it does and what we're using it for. Basically, the Git dot product two node returns the dot product from one actor to another. So that's why it takes in two different target actors. In my example, I'm basically saying from my character to the box in front of me, what's going to be our dot product? And it's going to return back a float value, basically be technically between 0, 2, and neg uh, negative 2 and positive 1. But the only real values we care about are negative 1 to positive 1. If it returns negative 2, it's a failure for whatever reason. Now, let's go ahead and run this and let me show you basically how it's working. We can ignore this facing right here. That was something I did to show you an example. But if I'm facing this cube, I'm going to get a value of 1. And the more I turn away in either direction, it's going to change. Once I get to 90 degrees, it's going to be approximately 0 for the value. And then if I face away from it, we're now going to have a negative value. Now let me show you, let me remind you of how the dot products work. Basically, here's my character, and here's the item I'm going at, the other person. That's going to return back a value of 1. The more I turn away from it, we get to the value of 0. So 90 degrees away from it, or basically at a right angle from the item that I'm facing, is going to give me back a 0. And if we're facing away from it, we're going to get negative 1. And of course, it's going to be the same on the other side. We'll have 0 here, values from zero, from 1 to 0, and 0 to negative 1. That's basically how it works and what you can use to determine the angle between one item and another. Now keep in mind that I am doing this from one to the other, using one target and another target. Now because my character this let me open this up here my character starts in with my x facing forward that's why we're getting on our value we're going from here forward to this location so now we're going from here to this location with this being forward remember if we looked at our example 90 degrees away so this right angle here that gives us zero dot products are really efficient in math compared to other math things. And they're useful if you're basically trying to determine if something is the same as something else. That's the easiest way to think about it. Is my character the same direction as something else? I'm gonna get a positive value. As I start looking away, it's gonna go towards the negative. As I get to zero, it's basically going to be a right angle. And then when I get into the negative values, it is facing away. So all I did here was determine, is my value less than zero? If so, I'm facing away. And it gives me a really cheap and easy way. I mean, technically, if I'm right here, I can still see it. But in terms of maybe like a guard where you normally see like the radius in front of it, this gives a really cheap and easy way of determining if something's within that radius. We can always change this to something like um, if it's less than 0.4. And we'll run this. And you'll notice now when my value gets to around 0.4, the guard can no longer see us. So think about this. Think about our, we are an AI guard. This is our player. If we're looking around, we're only really going to care if the person's kind of within our main vision. So it allows you to give a really easy cone of vision, for example. Keep in mind, this is not limited by distance. I can be all the way over here. It's simply using the dot product from here to there. Is it valid? Now, there is one caveat with this. Let me, you saw when I started, this is a value of one. Well, using the dot product, it does keep in mind the entire vector. If I move this cube up and hit play, you'll notice we, notice we have a different value. It is taking into account the distance between my, this actor and this actor, including the Z now. Now that our Z is different, we're gonna get back different values. So if I'm under it, we're gonna get back values with an issue. If I was to put this back on the ground, and move back over here, you'll notice it's still a one even if I'm on top of it. And then once I move up and down, of course it's gonna change. So that is something to keep in mind with the git.product2. It is literally 
the dot product between one value and another by inputting two actors and it gives you back the result. The use case would be roughly if two vectors are two actors are sharing the same basically line of sight or same direction, you have a positive value. The less direction they share, in this case we have like a 45 degree angle, the lower the value becomes. When they start becoming less than 90 degrees, so now I'm past 90, up somewhere around 100, we start getting negative values. And a negative one basically represents the exact opposite direction. I'm no longer facing the same direction as my target. I now have a negative one value. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our git.product2 node.